Yes, sir, Bob. So you guys know what it is. This is the Timu review. We went ahead and we made two orders. First order was $6 just to see. Uh, we ended up getting a couple of these necklaces. And then uh, second order, you can see it's all this stuff. So without further ado, let's get it cracking, y'all. All right, and we're back. You guys know what it is. So we got a couple necklaces in the first. Um, I'll actually... Boom, first order, here you guys go. These are the prices on screen. That's what we ordered. So those three necklaces, Joe's actually wearing the one necklace right now, um, the purple purple one. Uh, that necklace, if you guys wanna order something like that, uh, it actually turns blue in, so I'll leave the picture up so you guys know what I'm talking about, but it turns blue in the light. So if you see it and it's just purple, um, put it in the light, you'll end up seeing the blue. So. I didn't know that, now you guys know. Um, next up, we got the necklace that I got for myself. Now, I'm pretty sure these are the type of jewelry that you guys see at the fairs and stuff that you end up paying like 15 to $20 for. Um, it's not that bad. Like, it costs whatever it costs, you know, like not too expensive. So it's not like super, thick or anything but the chain it's durable like don't pull on it or you'll snap it um the chain links or whatever but it looks really nice uh for the price point it's worth it i would say at least the price point that i got it at um i wouldn't spend like ten dollars on a necklace eh, i would probably spend like ten dollars on a necklace like this but like because i got it so cheap on this website obviously you guys don't have to but very nice i would say it's worth it anyone um, there's a lot of different designs, so maybe I'll collect a couple of the different designs and show you guys in a future video. Um, next, uh, so the necklace is really good quality. The Harley Quinn, you can tell it's probably just like a metal mold, uh, maybe like metal sand mold where they just fill it with whatever and then let it harden. But it's still got pretty good quality. Jojo said they got her butt cheeks. They got her bust, they got the bat. Ah, come on, let's see the quality. Not bad. I wonder if you could paint it. I don't know. You might be able to paint paint these pretty well, depending, I don't know. Maybe we'll have to do like a little artsy thing, see if we could touch these up, make them stand out a little bit more. But for the price point, definitely worth it. Even with the chains too and stuff, like sometimes you have to pay like $2 for, for like these chains alone. So it comes with the chain, comes with the pendant definitely worth it in my opinion joe loves it um so we'll get into today's order throw that on screen boom so as you guys can see we got a bunch of posters and i would say it's really good material now it's like uh if you guys can see um it's the type of material where on the edges oh you can see like there's a line but that will be covered with the frame. So, uh, is that material that will fray at the edges though? Let's see, let's get that in. So you see how it's like fraying. So definitely try and get these in a frame as soon as possible. Uh, they roll them up real nice. Should have did the unboxing of them, but you guys get the gist of it. Really nice Hunter x Hunter. And for the price point, I would say it's worth it. Definitely worth it. We got some in all different sizes. Now you can order these in different sizes as well. Each one of these had different options, but I chose, you know, the sales that they were on for the sizes that they were showing. Um, but yeah, definitely worth it. I would say the jewelry is what you would expect. Now the earrings, some of the earrings look like, you know, a little cheaper quality, but they're still, they're nice. But you can tell maybe like Spencer's, if you guys know Spencer's in the mall. Uh, basically like Walmart mall type jewelry, but you're paying, you know, a lot, a hell of a lot less than what you would be paying in the malls and stores. So I would say the jewelry is what you would expect. Um, it's got those cute little designs, like there's those skeletons. Basically, once you order 
once or twice and you can see the type of material that it is, you can tell in the photos. Um, you, you can basically already tell in the photos if you've ordered stuff online and stuff. Uh, it's a little cheaper made, but you're not going for dirt, like durability or, you know, long lasting. You want that cute little design or whatever for the fit that you're planning on matching it with or whatever it is. Uh, just nice accessories. You're not going to wear them every single day. Uh, so they do exactly what they're meant to do. Now, this is the little schloss. As you can tell, Joe is a huge fan of schloss. And he's adorable. Look at him. Look at that slosh. Look at how happy he is. And like, this is one of those window things. So, you know what? Let's... We'll keep it low. Joe's in her jammies. But yeah, so. Oh, look at that shot. You know what? Let's go. Take the phone off the stand for a second. Okay. Let's see the shine. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck, that's right. I'm blind now, guys. Yeah. That's gonna look nice in the window. Look at how happy he is. Look at the windmills. Oh, yeah. Beautiful day. Beautiful day for this loft. So I'm pumped about that. That turned out well. I think, uh, I can't remember right now, but I think it was like four or five bucks. And look at that. I got that for ten bucks. So, like... I got this for $10 at a store. Good quality and stuff. Came with the frame. But, like, basically, if you get a nice frame with these type of posters, you can have them looking like they're worth it. Ah! Yeah, see? Slot, 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 slot. So she's happy with her sloths. We got this DJ sloth for her. Nice big one. So, yeah, we're going to have to get these frames uh it's not like you know like brand it's not like rick and morty brand or pokemon brand but it doesn't matter like if if you want to be a brand whore then go fucking wear your supreme and look like a douchebag and spend all your money on shit that don't really fucking matter if you want cool shit that shows off what you care about and stuff that you like this is definitely worth it you don't have to be none of those fucking spend all the money that you make to show that you have <laughs> like money which you don't because you spend it all on your dumb shit spend your money smart these are nice a couple bucks here and there and you can get a bunch of nice posters for your walls um now you got to be careful <laughs> i should probably have uh, looked up anything with another language uh, you want to look up and make sure it doesn't have some stupid sayings or whatever on it um, or if it's just like random letters, like it's random letters of the alphabet, you never know. So that's the one downfall of ordering something like this. But if you're ordering something like this, where it's just the image, then you don't have to worry about stuff like that. This, I, I didn't even really think about it until after the fact. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. That's like a Japanese tattoo. Like you never want to just trust someone's word for it if you don't speak the language, but you know. Over here on this channel, we're trying to learn different languages too and stuff. So learning experience and just look at the bright side of stuff. You know, you don't have to look at the downside of everything all the time. Um, this site, yeah, it's cheap. It's cheaper materials, but you knew that you're ordering a necklace for $1.50. So like this poster, absolutely sick once you get a nice frame. And that's the point. You could buy a real nice Rick and Morty poster that's already framed out and all that for like 60 bucks. Or you could buy a nice frame for $10. You could buy one of these for $5. Maybe you do some little artistic stuff on the frame. You got like a, like a thrift shop frame that has a little damage or whatever. You got to touch up the sides or whatever. Make it your own. You can make it look like a $200 frame that you built for 20 bucks. And you actually put in the work yourself. So it just means so much more to you than spending $60, $70 on something that you got from the store that honestly you could do yourself 10 times better. Um, so bang for your buck, it's definitely worth it. Be smart though, we haven't bought any um, clothing. We will, we'll, we'll pick up a sweater, but like I said, uh, since it's super cheap, expect it to be thinner. It's not gonna keep you warm all winter, you know? Um, but if you guys enjoy this type of review, we're gonna get some other things from Timu in the future. Uh, I was one of those fans of the Wish app back in the day. So 
we're gonna find out what we can get. Obviously, it's not name brand, uh, but if you're shopping and you're looking up this video, then you know, you don't care. So uh, it is what it is. It's definitely worth it on the lower end. On the higher end, we'll have to figure that out for you guys. So stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one. Doses.